I can't trust Victor. We have a chicken. Oh, desserts. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Sword, also known as Katana Crossing, and normally I make Animal Crossing content, but today we're gonna be playing Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. So this is the first non-Animal Crossing game that I'm playing on the channel, but my boyfriend got me this game months ago when it first came out, and I'm just now getting around to playing it on the channel. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this, and if you do, I, might make it a series on the channel. If not, I'm just gonna keep playing it on my own. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and do normal mode. I'm really excited because I love simulation games, obviously, and farming games are just so fun. So I'm really stoked for this. I also have Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Oh, look at the cows, they're so cute. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. The little animals are so cute in this game. I just, I'm so excited for the animals. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. This is so wholesome already. Like, this game is already perfect. Ooh, it's customization time, guys. Let's go. Okay. So first we're gonna choose facial features. Oh, by the way, I did actually play this like one day, but when my boyfriend got me this game, I was doing school, I was in the midst of trying to graduate, so I didn't have a lot of time to play. So I did actually already create a farm, but I never had time to play on it, so we're just starting fresh. So um, let's see, let me look through these really quick. I feel like I'm sleepy, but I don't know why, that face just does not look sleepy to me. I like this face. I like the frontier one the most, I think. I think that looks cute. I think we're gonna do frontier. And then skin color, we'll just leave it on this, I think. Little farmer's tan. I like how you can have different eye colors for each eye. I think that's really cool. Like, awesome customization. So, I have blue eyes, so let me look at the blues really quick. They're very bright, the ones in the game. But you know what? It's a game. It's a game. We'll just go with it. Deep blue. I feel like I'm deep blue, but I think the light blue looks really pretty. And you know what? It's still blue. We're gonna go with the light blue. Um, and then for hairstyle, let's see. I feel like all of their hairstyles are very straight. There's not a lot of like wavy curly ones. Um, my hair is like more wavy, but it doesn't look like any of these. So. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. I think this is the closest to my actual hair. And then the hair colors. I feel like this is probably my hair color, but I don't know why. I don't like, I don't really like the way it looks in the game. It looks very like dull. They have some really cool ones. I thought about maybe making my hair pink, having like colored hair in the game. I think I'm just gonna go with the caramel brown because I don't know. I know this is like the very basic generic look but i like it and i can always change it later so i think we're gonna go with that and then voice i feel like mine is more like powerful but i'm gonna go with cute because why not what what is i'm sorry what is the stance this is not charming okay this just looks like she's like about to run to the bathroom so we're gonna go with the the powerful one i guess and then we'll do a farm skirt and i think this is cute I think this is good. This is our final look. I love the loading screen with the little chickens. So cute. Oh, what? Wait, why is she hitting herself? <laughs> why am I hitting myself? That's me. <laughs> okay, mood. Oh, we get to choose our motorcycle color. I forget about that. I kind of want to go with pink. I think I'm going to do pink. Is that too much? I want to do either white or pink. We're gonna go with pink. Oh yeah, look at me. Look at that baddie go. <laughs> oh my gosh, the hair is like barely moving. It looks kind of blocky, but yeah, we're leaving the city now. Oh, look at those cute foxes. Oh my gosh, I hope you get to have a fox on this game. That'd be so cool. I have no idea what you can do on this game yet, so. Dang, that's a long day's drive. That looks pretty fun though, like, kind of want to get a motorcycle now, you know? 
All the critters are so cute on this game. Oh, here we are. Ahead, Olive Town. Knowing me, I would get lost in real life. Like, it would take me so long to get there because my sense of direction is just... Well, the, the, the like blossoms on the trees are so pretty. I don't know if those are blossoms, but it's pretty. Just like every farm game, we're starting out in springtime. Oh look, it's our boy Victor. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? No, I didn't. I'm just standing here for no reason, Victor. Ah, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clement, who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Er, by the way, might I have your name? So I thought about using Katana in this, but I think I'm just gonna use my real name. <laughs> I feel like most of my viewers know that's my name, but new people in here might be confused, but yeah, Sword's my real name. So we're just gonna go with that. I see, so your name's Sword, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Really now, Victor? Does it now? I can't trust Victor. Oh my goodness, your birthday. It's a, uh, is it? what I think it is. All right, my birthday is July 19th, so we're gonna go with summer 19. Cancer babies, where are you at? <laughs> Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, then that would make you. Actually, I'm 21, but close enough. I'll be 22 on the 19th, but you know what? Close enough, close enough, his granddaughter. Yes, of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Victor, it might just be time for you to retire. Go take a break. Go take a vacation, please. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's granddaughter would find her way to Olive Town. Come on, then. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. So, I did actually raise chickens growing up. We didn't have, like, a full-on farm, but, um... We always had chickens growing up, so I'm excited to be able to have chickens on this game and all kinds of animals because growing up, I lived out on the boonies with my mom and we had a lot of animals. It was basically like a farm, so it's basically me reliving those days. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so the first time I named my farm, I named it Hummingbird Farm, so I'm just gonna go with that again. I feel like it's a cute name because I love birds and I feel like hummingbirds show up a lot on farms. I could be wrong, but I did grow up around a lot of farms and I felt like I saw them a lot. So we're gonna name it Hummingbird Farm. Yeah, let's go with this. I think this is cute. Well, I can't say I'm well-versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. Sorry, I like cut him off because I am so bad at wanting to listen to the dialogue in games. Like the beginning of games, I feel like are the most boring because there's so much dialogue. So we're getting through this. Here you are, I'll pass these along to you. He just gives me nothing. <laughs> he just hands me an empty, like nothing, just nothing. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you're well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all of that. Oh, okay, so it's showing me how to um, navigate everything. So we have like a little tool bag. We have a notebook and inventory. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing the land. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grasses. I feel like I already sort of know the controls because I've played a lot of games like this, like this before, like Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, and also um, Stardew. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I think I can get the gist of this. I will figure this out. I, I am paying attention. No, Victor, please no. I don't need another speech, thank you. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. Victor, you've already like got me falling asleep. Okay guys, so we're good. We're good. Your, to your tools can all be stored in the tool bag, got it. Okay, how do I get to my tool bag? Also, oh my goodness, look at me doing nothing and just leveling up here. Level queen, okay. Okay, so you press X to get to this menu. 
Oh, we can look at our records, animal information. There's so much here. I feel like it's going to take me a while to get used to. So you guys are just going to be watching me stumble over the controls. But look how pretty this map is. There's so much to see here, I feel like. Wow. Okay, so um, this is our tool bag and our tools are down here. So let's get them all out. I swear, the first time I played this, it took me so long to find my tool bag. I don't know why. I feel like it should not have taken me that long, but it did. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have um, we have an axe, a sickle, and a hammer so far. So, oh, I did not mean to have that in my hand. So let's just let's just go. Okay. So, oh, you've got some pretty land here. Let's explore. Let's see what we have in our property. If you sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor's taught you a little more about raising crops. Well, he's taught me nothing, so how do we all- <gasps> We have a chicken! You have no place to house the animal, try again if- No! I want this chicken, oh my gosh! Where did it come from? So cute! I love chickens, guys. Like I said, I raised chickens when I was younger. My mom has chickens and ducks. I'm rambling again. Okay, so we can harvest wild crops. This is like the fun part, harvesting. Wait, I didn't mean to eat it. Oh no, stop it. No, I didn't mean to eat it. Why am I so fat? Why am I such a foodie? Oh my gosh, harvest. Guys, FYI, do not press Y unless you wanna eat the food. Okay, so we got some onions. Look at us go. We got some onions. Let's see what else I can find. Maybe there's other stuff. I want to make a lot of money on the first day, so this is so cute. I love this. Springtime is so pretty on this game. Okay, why? I'm trying to harvest. Thank you. That is so misleading. Eating it instead of harvesting it. Royal fern. Interesting. What is back here? There's a cave back here. I don't think we can get to it yet, actually. Okay, so I think we're- I'm just gonna put these in the bin to ship so we can have some money starting tomorrow. Ooh, 924. Not bad. I feel like that's not bad. So, um, let's just go and say hi to everyone and explore the town. What a cute loading screen. Also, who is that? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, they have a pet shop. Let's go in here first. Okay, this is the Hoof House Animal Shop. The animal shop sells livestock and pets. If you tame wild animals on your farm, a larger variety of animals will be available for purchase there. Oh, I want to get animals. I know it's too soon, probably. Okay, so I should like get familiar with everyone. So I should focus on like learning names today. So this is Patricia. She says, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're Sword, right? I'm Patricia. I run the animal shop. Keep that in mind now. I expect you'll be needing to come by before long. Ooh, got some, we can buy livestock. Well, I can't buy any of this until I have the facility, but you can do breeding. Okay, let's go talk to the other person here. This is Bridget. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited that farm. That's wonderful. I'm Bridget. I'm very familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. So what does she do? Oh, you can buy a pet from her. I want to get a dog. Who is this? This is one of the people you can date, I believe. Can you marry? I think you marry on this game, right? This is Damon. You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're a sword, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. <laughs> Okay, let's um, oh, I love how you can just like go into their bedrooms and their kitchen. I'm gonna try not to waste too much time. I just want to like learn all the names on the first day and see what there is to do. You know, get to know everyone. Who's this cutie? Cindy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy and you are? Oh, you're Sword? So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come by to play sometime? Oh, she's so cute. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. Okay, I did not just farm. I just talked to a little girl. How is that farming? What do you mean? So this is the general store. So I guess this is where I'm going to be buying all my seeds and stuff. So this is Angela. Howdy, your sword, right? I'm Angela. My family runs the general store. Nice to meet you. So let's see. I... 
Actually, I have 3,000 gold right now, so I think I should buy some potatoes. Let's buy some potatoes. I'm gonna get like eight. We're just gonna go with eight. Um, looks like they also have turnips, cucumbers, radish, fodder, tea leaf. They have a lot of cool- oh. Oh, There's a coffee seedling! A seedling of a tree that bears fruit in spring. With proper care, it'll grow rich coffee beans. Oh gosh, 15 days? That's a long time to wait for coffee. Can you imagine me waiting 15 days to have coffee? So I'm gonna wait until I have more money. Let's talk to this person. Hi. This is Jack. Hey, uh, you looking for anything in particular? Oh, so you're sword. I heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack, nice to meet ya. <laughs> what wonderful people. These people seem really nice, really chill. There's crystals here that you can buy. Who should we date? Comment below. Um, this is Raul. Hello, we haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Sword. I'm Raul. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of the names in this. I'm really trying to get them right, but I'm probably not, so. And this is Yori. Dear me, I have not seen you in these parts before. Are you new to this town? You are Sword. A fine name. <laughs> I know. I shall commit it to memory. I am called Yori. I hope we- will forge an excellent relationship. He seems cool. Great first impression. Also, we have a pier here. Oh, I wonder if you can get on the boat at any point in time. This is so cool. The beaches on this game are so pretty though. Let's go into this uh, Marco's house. I thought it was like a fish shack. Manuela, well now you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Girl, you know me too well. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house and I'd rather it be put to good use. And she gives me nothing. Thank you for nothing. Yay, we can fish now. Beautiful. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna cut some of the, the dialogue because I don't think you want to hear me read all of it. If you do, let me know and I will, but I just feel like you don't. Also, I love this house. This is a cute house. This is such a cute bedroom. Oh, okay. I'm getting distracted. Let's go. Let's leave. Oh my gosh, there's so much to see. There's so many people to meet. I'm trying to do it a lot of it in the first day. This is George. George. Why is his name spelled like that? I feel like they're like cutting off his name. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Ah, your name's Sword, is it? I'm George, captain of the ferry. Good to meet you, lass. Oh, what is this? Capeside Bistro. Oh, this is where I'm gonna go when I'm hangry. Oh yes, let's sit. Oh wait, I should probably talk to these people. Um, Misa Misaki, I've heard of you. You moved to this town recently, right? The mayor, Victor, announced the news to everyone. I'm Misaki. I run the bistro. Do drop by sometime. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. Okay. Uh, anywho. Um, ooh, desserts. Oh, this looks so good. This is actually making me hungry. I love this. So I guess this is where you come to get food. Oh, they have a yogurt drink here. That looks so good. So it looks like we have another um, person here. This is Blair. You're not from around here, right? Are you a tourist? Your sword? Aha! The mayor was going on and on about someone coming to take over the farm. I'm Blair. I work at the bistro. Nice to meet you. All these people are so sweet. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> As I just leave. Okay. What is this? Oh, Norman's groceries. I thought it was like a hat shop or something. This is where you can pick up cooking ingredients since you can cook on this game. Hmm, have we met somewhere before? Oh, your sword. It's nice to meet you. I'm Norman, this town's grocer. If you're ever looking for ingredients for food, I'm your man. Come see me anytime. Let's see what he has. Oh, so basically, if you don't want to grow ingredients, you can buy it here. But I'm like, what's the point of buying ingredients when you can grow it, you know? Okay, so let's see. Who else do we need to meet? There's so many places we need to go to. Maybe I should be looking at the map to see where I should go. It doesn't show me where I am though. I don't think. Does it? I don't know. Oh, this is Nigel's Handiworks. So this is where you can upgrade the workshop. Hello. 
I'm Nigel, let me know if you ever need any carpentry work done. I've got the skills, so I may as well put them to good use, yeah? Anyway, be seeing you. Hello. Um, farm facilities? Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna buy a well, because I feel like that's something we're gonna need. Um, you can't buy anything else right now. Ooh, we can expand our house with just 2,000 gold and 20 wood? Okay, cool. Oh, you can buy furniture here too. Cute. Okay, um, I think we saw everything on the second level, so I should go up again, maybe? Who dis? Oh my gosh, who is this? Lavette. Why, hello, I am called Lavette. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles on my discoveries. Do let me know if you happen upon any Olive Town delicacies. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, this looks like a flower shop. New, new? Like I said, guys, I'm gonna mess up the names and I'm sorry, please don't come for me, but is that Nuyen? I'm gonna pronounce it Nuyen, even though I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But you can get flowers and furniture from here, cute. Ah, sword, so you're the one then. Name's Nuyen. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. Will do if I ever learn to pronounce your name correctly. So we can get pretty flower seeds from here. Maybe we should get some tulips. Because it is spring, you know? I'm like spending all my money. This is not good. Maybe I should get like four. We'll get four. Oh, you can make perfume. How cute. There's a bird of paradise plant. Oh, I want to get it so bad, but I'm going to be broke. Forget it. I'll buy it when I need furniture. And then here's one of the other characters. Oh, I got level three friendly face. Lynn. I think it's Lynn. I'm going to say Lynn for now. Lynn. Yes, might I ask who you are? Your name is Sword. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. My name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. She seems cute. She seems nice. Okay. Oh my gosh, the sun is setting. I'm this. I don't know what this is going to be, but it's under construction right now. And then we have, what is this? Workers base tool shop. Oh, this must be where I get my motorcycle fixed or something. Hey. This is Clemens. An upgraded bag that adds some extra space. Now it can fit eight more items. Nice. Okay, we're definitely going to want to upgrade the bag at some point. Who is this? Hello. Karina. Enchante. <laughs> I'm so... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't really know French. I'm sorry. I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too, funny enough. We should help each other get settled. She's pretty. Okay, um... Who's this? Tourist? Just a random tourist? Okay. Yeah. Jesse. Oh, there's so many little girls in this game. This is her grandfather? Oh my gosh. So many cute families in this game. Okay, here's the museum, I guess. Gloria. Ooh, she looks fancy. Olive Museum was established so that tourists the world over could view some of the splendors our town holds. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our tourists with. It's quite the conundrum. Okay, so it looks like we need... Oh, this is where... Take pictures of the animals in this game, and this is like where you donate the pictures basically i'm so excited this is gonna be so fun because the critters on this game are so cute sorry gloria girl i'm getting tired i had to skip over some of that dialogue but i'm so excited Ooh, okay and then who is this um beth oh the sun's golden hour looks so pretty in this game can we just appreciate that this is olive hall I don't know what this place is for, but it looks very fancy. Um, okay, I know there's like a little restaurant on the side here somewhere that I should probably check out really quick before I continue, but this place looks so pretty. So this is like the cafe part. There's, oh, it's a hotel and cafe. That is so fancy. There's so many food places on this game and I love it. 
I'm never gonna be hangry ever again. Who is this? This is Jason. So, um, this is a hotel, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, it's closed already. I got here too late, but they have like very fancy food there too and lots of desserts. So we will be coming there again. We will be going there a lot. Oh, little Mikey. Oh, there's like a little park here. That's so cute. I wish we could like actually use some of this stuff. I feel like a lot of it is just for decoration. Sorry if I'm all of a sudden nasally. I have really bad allergies and I keep sneezing, so I'm sorry. What is this? This looks so cozy. Dosetsu. Dosetsu. So this is where Iori lives with his family, I'm assuming. I have attended the young master, Lord Iori, since his birth. Oh, that's his... Wait. Is that his uh, sensei or something? This looks so nice. I'm so nice their food can i join you for dinner i'm just gonna leave i feel bad i think i just like walked in on their dinner oh so this is like a bunch of homes up here maybe i should head back to my farm then what is this oh it's a shrine do i have a camera yet if i do i don't know how to use it i feel like i should use it it's a fox it's a fox. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just scared it away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, I think we saw a lot. I know we probably didn't see everything, but this is, you know, a lot. We did a lot. So we're going to go back to the farm. We have a well. I want to place that somewhere. I think I'll put it here. I feel like this is a convenient spot to put it. Yes, we have our well now. And um, am I supposed to use this to cut this? Let's cut some grass before we go to sleep. I'm trying to- Oh my gosh, it's already 9.33. I'm trying to do the most in one day because I think I'm only going to play one day on this Let's Play just because the first day I feel like has so many tutorials and so much in it. And I've been filming now for about an hour, so I think we're going to cut it short. Literally cut it short. <sighs> Okay, so I'm trying to make, you know, trying to clear some room here, trying to make this look good. Um, I don't know how to, like, create the, you know, the plots for seeds. So I guess I'm just gonna start planting seeds where I can. May as well not waste the first day, right? What time am I supposed to go to bed? Do I have a bedtime on this game? I'm just like planting seeds on random plots. I hope I can like figure out how to um, how to do this. Okay, we planted all our potatoes. I don't think there's a lot of room for tulips right now. Just because like I said, I don't know how to get those plots yet. I'm going strictly based on what I'm playing. I'm not looking at any guides. Um, so I'm sorry if there's like easier ways to do this. You guys are probably cringing so hard at this. You're like, sword, this is not how. But it's been a minute since I've played a farming game and I, like I said, never really played this before, so. Again, guys, let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you think I should do this as like a Let's Play video series or if you think I should do it as like a stream because I'm thinking about doing an extra stream day where I play games that are not Animal Crossing and I'm thinking of like streaming this game. I think it'd be really fun. So I think we're good now. I think we're good. I'm gonna ship some stuff if we can. This onion, the grass, and not the seeds. Okay, this is good. I think we're gonna go ahead and go to our tent. And I think you can save with one of these things. Oh, okay, so you can save in your journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. I don't know if I got a lot done in the first day, but I feel like I did. I feel like I did a lot. And again, I will be playing multiple days like in my other let's plays it's just like i said the first day is filled with so much yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep so you guys can see what profit we made oh we got 1254 the onions sold for the most and yeah okay this is good this is not bad i feel like so i'm gonna go ahead and go on so it also auto saves but you can write in your journal 
if you don't want to go on to the next day, which is really nice. Okay, so I think that's it for today. I know I didn't do much in this first Let's Play. I just wanted to get a feel for the game and see if you guys enjoy this. So if you do, let me know. Comment down below if I should do this in like a video series or streams, or if you don't want to see it at all, I'll just play it in my own time. But I do think I'm going to start streaming where I play games other than Animal Crossing just because I feel like it helps the Animal Crossing burnout. And yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you are a new viewer and you do enjoy this kind of content, definitely consider liking and subscribing because it helps me out so much. And again, thank you guys so much if you watched this all the way through. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!